talk about things that you should bring into the gym with you. And as an amputee, I bring into the gym for myself. All right, so let's get my bag real quick. So number one, and let me let me tell you this is no particular order at all. This is straight off the dome. This is first take, only take. So number one, clothes, spare clothes. Okay, if you're going to the gym and you use a shower, then obviously you're gonna bring some spare clothes with you. Even if you don't use a shower, I would definitely, definitely recommend this because you get stuff like sweat rashes, other things like that for hygienic reasons. Bring spare clothes with you, please, people. All right, so you've got t-shirt, socks, boxes. Still wear the same shorts, but make sure you, you bring the essentials. All right, so this goes in the bag, okay? It's in the bag. All right, so next thing, knee protection. As an amputee, I think it's essential for me to wear knee protection, especially when I'm doing leg exercises. This really helps with stability of my knee it helps prevent injury and I actually would recommend it for people who are lifting real heavy when it comes to legs or obviously you have hip problems and knee problems definitely recommend that all right let's move on to the next one sweat rag sweat rag or flannel these are essential I'm telling you now you probably don't use them a majority of people do not use this at the gym but a sweat rag can come in so handy I'll tell you why you can wipe down areas when you're done with it. But some some gyms are kind of they're kind of lax with their hygienic uh, protocols, but you can bring your own. You can bring your own. You can be your own hygienic protocol. Wipe down your area when you're done. Wipe down yourself when you're done as well. Make sure you're staying dry. Make sure you're not dripping everywhere. I know it feels good to sweat, but you don't want to be dripping everywhere. It doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good either. Make sure you keep yourself nice and dry. All right. Into the bag it goes. Next is a weight belt. Now, my leg hasn't had to be the only additional weight. This helps with it too. I like to bring additional weight into my workouts, including pull-ups and chin-ups and dips as well. I like to put this on and add a weight to it. This helps with progressive overload uh, because you can't really do progressive overload as well with those body weight exercises. So this really helps and I do recommend it for anyone that's looking to get advanced into the calisthenics, you know, era or anything like that. Definitely get one of these, definitely recommend. Okay, and this is very, very last, all right? Punch-ons. I love to go in the bag, I'm telling you, I love to go in the bag. The main reason that I love to go in the bag is because I can't redo the rowing machine, you know, I can't, uh, I can't redo the treadmill. This is the best form of cardio that I've ever seen, and I think it's a really good form of cardio that I put into my courses and my training plans for people. If you do have a punch bag there, you know, it really hits you, it really hits your aerobic capacity. And I think this is, this is real good. Make sure you bring your own. I'll tell you why. You don't want to be using other people's. You really don't want to be borrowing gloves. That is nasty. So much sweat build up. I remember, story time. I remember I boxed once. It was in uh, it was in Sheffield. And I didn't have my own gloves. It was kind of a back street, you know, side alley kind of punch, punch up place, you know, one of them places. Really, really good though. I really liked it. But at the same time, the gloves I had to wear I could feel every face that had been punched inside that glove. There's stuff going on inside there. You pull your hand out. It's just all kind of stuff on your hand, covered in other people's sweat. And you get nothing you want at all. The smell from my hands lasted two days after wearing those gloves on my first day of boxing there. I'm telling you this. Get your own gloves. I will be coming out with a own selection of my gloves very soon, along with my next item. This next item, is a bonus item and it's something which I really recommend. However, if you have the strength, you don't really need it. Right. And then next is Theraband. Theraband. Seriously, if you can get yourself one of these, 
get yourself one of these oh my days it's amazing you could do it at home you could do it at the gym you could do it anywhere really it's it's really useful for putting blood back into the muscle which helps with recovery which helps with um with growth uh, which helps with general health of the muscle you know what i mean um it's really good for joint health as well uh, it's good for coordination of the body so you can actually find places that are hurting as well you can um you know like i said you can help use this for rehabilitation recovery purposes you know and it's a really good uh way to actually help fill the muscle up before going into an exercise so even if you're not injured even if you don't want all the blood going into muscle or whatever before an exercise sometimes i'll do an action that will mimic the exercise i'm doing with the theraband it's limited resistance it helps my body get into that kind of that mindset of the exercise and really helps my form in the next technique that i'm doing so i really really do recommend this for multiple reasons multiple multiple reasons i definitely like to incorporate this within the plans that i write i like to incorporate this within the course as well i definitely would recommend buying one if you feel like you want to get one check out the website there's one there for you lovely to see you guys make sure you have a great day like i say one pound bread gins bless up to all my people right king nigga what you writing what you writing i'm just a like and that's like half wolf half demon nigga from up there every evening rolling up the heathen use the heathen like be gone, use a peon, nigga use like a pecan, peacock. <clears throat> Remember peacocks, like when you used to shop at, yeah, you used to buy your white teas and that. Now I'm looking out, looking all fleeing that. <laughs>